Congratulations, you've successfully paired your sensor and are ready to take an action. Before you get started, let's go over the main features of the app. On the top right corner of the screen, you'll see the battery percentage of your sensor and the club you're connected to. When connected to the sensor, the Bluetooth icon will turn white. Before you make an action, confirm that the attachment is firmly attached to the end of the grip of your club and the head of the blast logo on the sensor is pointed down the center of the shaft towards the toe of the club. You're now ready to make a swinger putt. And remember, you must hit a ball. Let's hit a putt and I'll walk you through the app's main functions. Settings, metrics, camera, and history. As soon as you make contact with a ball, you'll notice a blue bar move across the screen meaning a swinger putt was detected. 0 0.69 seconds. And Siri will read your metrics to you. Smart feedback is one of the app's most enjoyable features, as it allows you to practice without you having to look at your phone or tablet after every swinger putt. You can swipe in the middle of the screen to view more metrics, or tap the number one icon where you can view up to four metrics at a time. Tap the blue information eyes next to each metric to learn more about what the metrics mean, why they're important, prone amateur averages, and drills to improve your metrics. The same videos can also be found on Blast Motion's YouTube page. Tap the X in the top right corner to return to the main screen. Next, tap the folders icon, History to view all the swings or putts you ever make when connected to the sensor. History is also the home of sessions, all actions, and statistics. Sessions are created automatically every 30 minutes and store data chronologically. Tap the X to return to the main screen. To film an action, First tap the camera icon. Tap start to begin recording and let the video roll hitting multiple balls, putts or swings, or even an entire bucket while the camera records everything. When you stop the recording and go back to your history, tap the X top right corner, history will automatically merge the metrics with a video to create highlights of every swing or putt you make. To view a video, tap one of the history tiles and hit the play button to watch the video. And you'll notice some of the metrics are frame synced, meaning the 3D metric is synced with the video. Tap the screen and hold down the play button to move forward and back throughout the swing. Tap the screen again and hit the left and right arrows to move frame by frame throughout the swing. Finally tap the sharing icon in the top left corner to share your highlights and brag with your friends, send your video to your coach for help, or show a student their before and after. To switch from one club to another, first remove the attachment and sensor from your previous club, then place them on your new desired club. Then in the app, tap Settings, and in the Club Settings tab, scroll up to find your club of choice, and tap the white connection icon next to the name of the club. The app will then say your sensor is currently assigned to another club. Would you like to disconnect from the current club and connect to this one? Tap Yes and lightly shake your club, and you'll hear that connection tone. You're now connected to your new club and ready to make a swing. It's that simple. To add a new club, tap Settings, scroll all the way up to Add New Club, tap in the white type box, scroll up to find your club of choice, and tap the arrow in the top right to continue. Next, select your brand, 
or if you want the app to use default values, select Quick Start. I'll select my brand, tap the arrow to continue. I'll find the model name of my club, arrow to continue. Then I'll give my club a unique nickname. Could be the player's name. Well, I will call this Joe's Encore's Putter. Then tap the arrow to continue. Select the line select the loft, arrow to continue, and then select the length of the club, arrow to continue. Next, pick the hand in S. Congratulations, you've successfully added a new club. Tap add another club or tap OK to continue. If you ever have any questions about getting started or app navigation, tap settings, tap the help tab where you'll find information on how to get started, how to censor an app works, metric definitions, contacting tech support, and so on. We constantly strive to create the best possible user experience, so be sure to connect if you have any feedback or questions. Good luck on your journey to becoming a better athlete and let us know how we can help if you have any questions.